episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Salberger. We are here at Delta Park in Colchester, Vermont, on a beautiful day. And behind me, Lake Champlain is full of kite boarders. It feels like floating. It's a feeling that every single time you experience it, it never gets old, you know? We both grew up sailing, yeah. so this is kind of like, it's almost like three-dimensional sailing, or the best way to describe it, some people have said, it's like water skiing behind a helicopter. <laughs> Four years ago, the scene here wasn't quite like this. There were a lot of people learning. Over the years, it's progressed significantly. Everybody's gotten a lot better, a lot safer. There are upwards of 20, 30 people here every day when it's good. And we've kind of become a community, so. It's really taken off, and we're seeing people all ages. There's a lot of people that are learning, and a lot of veterans. A lot of them are doctors, hedge funders, the microbiologists. So there's definitely a diverse background. You don't need to be athletic, you don't need to be strong. You just really need to love the water, and to listen to instruction, and follow the technique. We're going. 30 plus miles an hour over the water and we kind of go look for waves because the ultimate for us is ocean waves. You use the kite to go find the waves. Yeah, so it's like surfing without paddling. Everybody used to windsurf and now there's many more kite boarders than windsurfers. And like a lot of people, I was a windsurfer and I was in Nantucket in 2000, I saw it and I never went back. So October yeah. is a good time for you. October is great. It is. Yeah. We, we always September. look forward to the fall. The winds pick up. But the one thing we really don't do anymore yeah. is show off. Like, you, know what kind of, you know what kind of air you can get on these things? Seriously. Yeah, I would like to see some showing off, please. back out again, but I need a bigger kite. So, should I rig the tent? And the kite yeah. can bring you down gently, a nice soft landing, and it can also bring you down really hard and do some damage to your body. You always have to be present, which is what's kind of cool about it, for me anyway. You know, if it's windy and I'm at work, I'm usually not being super productive because I'm thinking about the wind. Easy equipment, you put a backpack on, carry a little board, lots of waves to play around, go up and down and over. Yeah, it's very infectious, not just the riding, but the kite handling. The sky's literally the limit. You can do whatever you want to do. And that's another great thing about kiting. You're out in the lake, you see turtles, fish, you really become one with the water in a, a unique bonding way. On some of the wildest days, you can really feel a sense of peace. It's addictive. And the sunsets here are some of the best in the world. So many beautiful places to kite in the world. This is really unique. Give it up. got a hard pull. Oh, feel it. We caught up with Jerry and Kurt Benjamin at North Beach where they are teaching our very own Ken Bacard how to kite board. We windsurf competitively for 30 years, raised five children, became so passionate about it that we sold our homes and businesses and now this is what we do. I windsurfed for 15 plus years. I've been kiting for probably 12 years but I 
was a snow kiter for a very long time before I ever went into the water. You know, I got my first lessons and the rest is history. And so from there on in, the sickness began. I just started buying bigger and bigger kites. I'm a handicapped person. I don't have a right shoulder. Right. And kiting works for me because it grabs. Because who's doing all the work? Yeah. Mr. Kite. Yeah. This. I've been doing it for what, 15 years? Two years. Out of the box, never sailed. It was surprisingly hard for me because I didn't understand wind or water. Women see these amazing videos of guys going up and flipping around and upside down and shooting like Superman through the air and think, yeah, man, that's crazy. I can't do that. But it's, it's not strength. It's finesse, which women have more of. Women can definitely do it. And I'm, and I'm on a mission to get you out there. I know. I, I want <laughs> yeah. to get out there. You know, this place isn't the most forgiving spot to kite in the country. And so it's nice to have uh, everyone looking out for each other. You can do it alone, but it's far more dangerous. It's safer with the community. And everybody's so supportive and willing to help each other out. And that's what's socially magnetic about kiting. that one day I can learn how to kiteboard. Jerry, you promised you're gonna teach me. And we will get stuck and romp you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and sign up for a new newsletter. Okay, bye. We flew to Florida in January. <laughs> nice. We flew to Florida for J in January, and then I didn't do it again until May. So you don't really... This is the definition of a photobomb. Yes, this is a photobomb. Of course. <laughs>